Yeah, so you, you, you just get done watching the late model feature and crowd's all pumped up because Larson come from the back to the front and um, you, know, you just get in the car and uh, get yourself buckled in, make sure you're right and, and you try to do the same thing every time. Every time you get in the car, just keep it in rhythm. So, um, you know, you just get in, you get your belts on, you know, put your steering wheel, make sure that's on right. <coughs> just, uh, you know, helmet, gloves, make sure your race receiver's working. And, uh, you know, you, by the time you're backed out and uh, sitting on the staging area and, um, yeah, I don't know, you just kind of, I, I just kind of get my mind, you know, where it needs to be and you sit there for a minute or two and next thing you know, you're pushed off, you're idling around the racetrack, you're just kind of checking the top out, checking the bottom out, you know, they put a little water on the racetrack, so you get, Mike calls you on the radio to catch up to the pace truck, you just give yourself a little hot lap there. Mike calls you for the four wide, you get yourself in that four wide, and, and you know, that's one of the, the best things that the fans love about spring car racing is, is our four wide salute to them, and uh, you know, fireworks going off down the back stretch, and uh, you know, the, all the pyrotechnics is pretty cool, man. It's, uh, it's a different view inside the car, but I know it's really cool for the fans too, but uh, yeah, you break down after the four wide, and, and uh, now you're just 100% you're focused on the start of the race. And, and everything else just kind of goes away. And it's pretty much silence, really. And then, uh, you know, you get to the line and all hell breaks loose. You get into the corner and it just shoves you to the right side of the car. Your head pushed against the headrest. And now you have all that vibration from the car and the, the bumps on the racetrack just shaking and vibrating your head. And, you know, it's really hard to focus. So um, you have to be in really good shape. You have to be able to, um, be able to overcome that and focus on the task at hand and, and uh, to be able to make sure you hit your marks.